YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with my Finish 17 by 2017 project. I will list the other girls on Instagram who are doing this down below, along with my intro video, of course. I have finished one product, and I think I've made really good progress on other products, although I totally broke something while measuring it today. It's still usable for the time being, so it's not that bad, but that made me so mad. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. Uh, first off, I did finish this Iron Man 3 Berry Blast Bubble Bath. I started all the way up there, but I got like four uses out of this because I need a lot of bubbles when I take a bubble bath. So, I mean, it was only a dollar, so I'm not really worried about it. And what I'm using as a bubble bath now is this Be Enchanted body wash. The thing about it is, while this smells good in the bottle, for some reason it mixes weird with my body chemistry and it smells just like cotton candy and it lingers and it drives me crazy. <laughs> so I figured I would just use it as a bubble bath instead. I know that's going to make me go through it, but I'm enjoying it as a bubble bath, so I don't find it being wasteful. I started up here and now I'm down to here, so that should definitely be finished by next month. I've been taking a lot of baths lately. Mainly because I'm using bubble bath and, well, bubble bath makes me happy. Alright, let's just go down the list from there. Next, I have this One Love Gardenia and Tea Antioxidant Body Serum. I've been forgetting to use this a lot, but even so, I went from here to here. So, you use a lot of this at one time, or at least I do. So, I would never purchase this because it's... what. What is it? I know I wrote it. $39 for this full size. I got it in a bir limited edition birch box, so thank God I didn't pay for it. But, oh my goodness, this is expensive. So, I've been enjoying it for what it is, but I would never pay for that. No. I got the Desange Purifying Clay Balancing Shampoo. Apparently this is made for people with oily roots and dry ends, which is me to a T when I have my roots growing out like I do right now. I'm probably gonna dye my hair this weekend, but still. So I don't go through shampoo and conditioner that fast. That's why I put one in here that is a rest of the year project. So last month I was here, this month I'm here. So that, that's gonna take probably the next four months or so for me to finish. I do have a lot of hair, but I don't wash my hair every day, or else this color would be a whole lot more faded than it already is. So. Now I got these Desange products from Influencer, by the way, in case you were curious, and they're actually really nice. And this sucker I forget to use, but when I do use it, I use a lot. I use a lot of it, because I have to put it through all of my roots. But I did use it once. This is the Purifying Pre-Shampoo Mask. I don't know how well you could tell, but I have hit the bottom. I hit it basically in the middle. I don't love the smell of these. They smell like clay, which they're purifying clay. I'm not surprised. And the scent doesn't linger, but it does take some of the fun out of using it when it doesn't smell very good. But I don't mind using that up. It does clean my hair really well. I honestly should have used this today because I used some of that volumizing powder that I got in my Target Beauty box the other day. And it made my roots so dry and sticky feeling. So this would have been perfect for that. Because I did get my hair clean by using this. But I had no lather to my shampoo, either of my shampoos. I do shampoo twice. Let's see. Oh, here is my Tarte lip liner, which as soon as I find it, I can tell you that I haven't used it at all. I'm still working on my Model Co Illusion lip liner. So this has not been used. I can't roll it up, so that is just, well if I roll it up I can't roll it back down because Tarte decided that was the most amazing packaging to pick out. I don't know why. Here is my Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. This should definitely be finished by last month. It might have been finished today if I hadn't used my Way Spray that I got in my Target Beauty box, but I wanted to use that. So I started last month here. This is actually from 4 by 4th of July, but my new mark is actually here. So like I said, there's one or two uses left. This should be gone soon. Which is good, because I don't think it's particularly special. I actually really like my way spray, surprisingly enough. Like, the smell kind of grew on me as I was, you know, zhuzhing it through my hair. 
My up and up sunscreen is outside on my porch. I have used it a couple of times, but of course every time I go out into the sun for more than five seconds, a freaking bug stings me. Like I went to the pool the other day and I've already told you guys about the incident with the wasp outside once. I went to my pool the other day, stung, something stung me on my head in both my index fingers trying to get it out. I just have wonderful luck this summer. No, I haven't been stung by anything in, God, 20 years. Like, the last time I remember getting stung by something was when I was, like, 10. So, I don't know what it is about this summer. It's starting to make me really mad. Oh, right, that's not next. Next is the Nivea In Shower Body Lotion. Like I said, I've been taking a lot of baths. I can only use this in the shower because I have to rinse it off. So... Hasn't been getting a lot of use. Last month I was here. This month I think I'm about here. I'm using the tapping method to try and detect where the sound changes. Although now that I got my light on, it actually looks like it's a little bit under that mark, but we'll just roll with it. Let's see. Next we have my St. Ives Blackhead Clearing Green Tea Scrub, and I just splashed water all over me with it. This doesn't go very fast, I realize. So this is gonna take me all year probably too, unless my husband starts using it, which he might. So last month I was here, this month I am here. I had to like press it all the way down and then shine my little flashlight through it to figure out where I was. I honestly hadn't thought that I moved at all. And then when I was actually sitting here with it, I realized I had, which is good, so. Now something I haven't used at all because I've been focusing more on bubble baths is this Vital Care Vitamin E oil. This is something that when I want a more moisturizing bath, I would pour in. This will probably not get used more until like the fall, but I have all year, so I'm not too worried about it. And I do use quite a bit at one time. Dang it, I forgot something. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Next is the L'Oreal Everstrong Overnight Hair Treatment. I do forget to use this some nights, but I think I've actually made decent progress on it considering I started right here and now I'm right here. That doesn't seem like a lot, but I can only use like one pump of this at a time because otherwise, even with all of my hair, it makes my ends really greasy and nasty feeling. But what if I use one pump, my hair feels nice. So this is another thing that's gonna take a while, but luckily it pumps up, not down. So I am more than halfway done with it. I have to literally measure it by straightening out a paper clip and then shoving it in the little hole that's at the bottom so that the air pump can go up. Just in case you were curious. Hmm, let's see. Juice Beauty Hydrating Mist is next. I have not used this a ton, but I have used it. A little of this goes a long way. Or, see, I started right there, now I'm right there. Heck, I can use one right now. I kind of hate the smell of it. That's why I'm not in a hurry to use it, but on really hot nights when I'm in bed and I can't sleep because it's so freaking hot, this has actually been really nice. So, glad to have it. Wouldn't repurchase that either because it's $22. Next are some of my makeup items. I want to hit pan, just pan, in my Hula bronzer. Oof, very powdery. This probably doesn't look any different, honestly. And it's probably not gonna look too different until I actually hit pan. Cause there is, this is a lot of product. I mean, you guys have probably seen other people like Amber F try to finish one of these things. And it just takes, I think it took her like 18 months to finish one. But all I wanna do is hit pan. Hopefully I can hit pan in the next six months or technically like five months at this point, whatever. Oh, the product I broke. This is my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I don't think I'm doing it the right way. Took me two weeks to realize there's a spoolie on this end. Yes, I've seen reviews. I thought mine was broken. This is what it looks like. I'm not gonna roll it all the way up because when I was measuring it, I moved ever so slightly in the wrong direction against the notepad and it broke. However, I did get my measurement. So this is where it started and that's the bottom. And this is where it's at now. Honestly, if I wear makeup a little bit more, I can probably finish that because 
If you like tiny, fine precision brow pencils, this is great. I like something a little bit thicker because of where I like fill in literal bald spots at the front of my eyebrows. So it takes longer and more product to do it with a finer tipped pencil, which is why I don't like them. And it's why I would never purchase the Anastasia Beverly Hills because I know I won't like it. I did, I like that for what it is. It's just not what I prefer. Next is an Amika Nourishing Mask. I have literally only used this once and I used it today. So I had to finish another deep conditioning mask and then I forgot I was supposed to be using this and use something else. The couple of times I would have used it this month. So started right here, now I'm right here. I foresee no problem in finishing this, but I didn't get very far with it this month. Next is my Revlon Lip Butter and Sugar Plum. I'm doing very nicely with this. I've worn this a lot this month. Now, unfortunately, it is broken. I don't know how well you can see that, but it is coming away at the base. I broke this at some point last year while trying to use it, but it goes way the heck in there, so. I have a measurement for it, too. that is it the top mark is where it was last month and that's where it is this month and for a lipstick in a month i think that's a lot of use considering i haven't worn it a lot in the last two weeks like i wore it two weeks straight though and i do have this Miranus lip gloss in disco diva i depotted it because i hated the packaging oh god this smells like soap and i don't think it's gone bad i think it just smells like soap because it doesn't like tangle my lips or anything it just smells and tastes like soap anyways this is what i have left i don't know if i should try to make a mark on this or what the, the thing was pretty full honestly there's just not a ton of product in it like this is nothing for a lip gloss honestly for a full size 30 dollar lip gloss but hopefully i can finish that and i know you guys are like why are you trying to finish that you no, it tastes like soap. A friend of mine gave me this. <laughs> a friend of mine gave me that, and it is a really pretty color. So for now, at least, I'm trying to put up with it. I have used it probably five or six times, though. On t I use it on top of this, but I wore this a lot on its own as well. So, yeah. Last two products I haven't done that great on, honestly. This is the Myzon Special Therapy Goodnight White Sleeping Mask. And just like in my 24 by the 4th of July, my marks do not go very far, but I forget to use that, honestly. And finally, I have my SC Cuticle Oil. I think I've only used this three or four times, so it hasn't really moved from the mark that I made. I highly doubt I'll be able to finish this, but there are technically 20 items in this. I only have to finish 17, and once I finish enough to get under 17 items in it i will do like i usually do and add items in as i finish things i'm just waiting to get under 17 before i do that i think i will do that next month because i will finish the beach babe spray the be enchanted what else um probably the nyx brow pencil so that'll get me under 17. And if I actually remember to use them, I will probably finish these two as well. So that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.